Welcome to Jigsaw Abacus Biscuit. Today we will learn different parts of Abacus. So this is Master Abacus. This outer frame of Abacus holds all the beads. So now this bar you can see this is value bar. This is called value bar because when a bead touches the value bar, only then it gives a value otherwise it represents zero. As you can see that no bead is touching the value bar. So this is representing zero. So these all beads on the upper side, these are called upper beads as well as heaven beads. Upper beads because they are on upper side and heaven beads because they are facing towards heaven. All these beads on the lower side are called lower beads as well as earth beads. Earth beads because they are facing towards earth and because they are on lower sides, that's why these are called lower beads. Today we will learn counting on a backers from 0 to 9. This is 1's place. So when 1 lower bead touches the value bar, this gives value 1. When 2 lower beads touch the value bar, this gives value 2. When 3 beads touch the value bar, this gives value 3. When 4 beads touch the value bar, this gives value 4. I am repeating from 0 to 4 once again. When 1 bead touches the value bar, this gives 1. When two beads touch the value bar, this gives two. This is for three and this is for four. Now how to make five? When one upper bead at one's place touches the value bar, this gives value five. You can clearly see here that upper beads has value five and all the four lower beads have value one for each. So now how to make six? So this is five and this one, this gives value six. Now how to make 7? So this is 5, 6, 7. This is 7. To make 8, there will be 3 lower beads and 1 upper bead. So this gives 5, 6, 7, 8. So this represents 8. Now to make 9, all the beads at one place row should touch the value bar. So this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So when all the beads are touching the value bar, this gives value 9. And when no bead is touching the value bar, this gives value 0. 